It was kind of a, a mixed bag there. You guys had penalties in that two minute again, and then you finished with the big touchdown. Just you take me through that, and can you take something from it the way you finished both these last two days in that two minute? Yeah, I think we could uh, take something from this whole week. You know, it's been a tough week. We went six days straight, but I feel like each day we've gotten better. And uh, as you can see, the last two days, like with the penalties and the setbacks, that could happen in the game. But the way we finish, you know, it just shows you know how mentally strong this group can be, and that's what we're gonna have to do at some point throughout the season. John Payton said yesterday he likes how the offensive lines coming together. How do you like it? Going good. We got a long ways to go. Uh, I feel we all feel like we haven't done anything yet. Obviously, uh, we got a lot of tough opponents. I feel like every week uh, we face great D lines, so we just got to continue to build, continue to uh, be mentally strong, and stick together through the ups and downs. And um, you know, the first day we met as a as a new group, we said win or lose, it's going to be on us. Uh, no matter what, uh, if we lose, people going to point the finger at us. If we win, it's going to be because of us. So we got to be. The group that runs this team all year. Look. I feel like we just uh, building callus throughout throughout this camp for the regular season. Uh, you know, it's tough now, so it can be easier. You know, week eight, week nine, and throughout the rest of the season. So uh, this this part of the year is supposed to be supposed to be hard. So. You know, um, you know, we, we've taken a, a no complaining, no uh, nonsense type approach. So it's like we've got to do it. It is what it is. Guys have talked about how, like, you basically did multiple installs on certain concepts before going forward. So, like, how has that kind of helped everybody get those core competency, competencies down rather than maybe trying to bite off more than you can chew at this point? Yeah, uh, so we, you know, first week we went – Install one, the install two, and then back to install one. So, and then we did the same thing in the spring. So, it just helped us uh, limit, you know, the thinking out there. You know, knowing that we know what look we're gonna get, we know what plays we like to run against a certain look, and just going out there and playing fast. So, I feel like that's helped us a lot. And uh, ever since then, we've just been continue to build, continue to add uh, small layers to the things we love, we like, and I just continue to build. What do, you do, what, do you do on a, what do you do on an off day, especially after six straight days? Uh, try as much sleep as you can. But uh, I know me personally, I would probably come here in the morning, a cold tub, hot tub, uh, steam room, try to get a little sweat in, and then just relax the rest of the day, man. I'd probably play PlayStation and just get ready for the next day. Lloyd, what are the just conversations? Play in the preseason. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there and just hitting someone else? Uh, looking forward to it a lot. Uh, we've been going against our defense for two weeks, and uh, and me personally, I've been I've been played in a game since like October when I got hurt. So uh, it's been a long time. I'm looking forward to to getting out there and playing, and executing. What are the conversations with Zach like? Because he obviously played tackle, but was in the offense for so long. So how is how is he able to translate? You know, to what a center sees or needs or whatever. I feel like. Uh, both Coach Streif and Coach uh, Austin King, he was a center. So okay. both of those guys are, are great, uh, especially Coach Streif. You know, like you say, he played 12 years for Coach Payton. He's been around some very good centers uh, in his time in New Orleans. So he knows exactly what Coach Payton likes. He knows exactly what we we should expect in a game against uh, certain teams, against certain looks. Like he knows what runs he's gonna he's gonna hang his hat on. And um, the best thing about both of those guys, I feel like they're very good uh, teachers and storytellers and the way they explain things. Um, you know, they do it in a, in a, in a way that offensive linemen relate. I mean, obviously they play the position. So, uh, Coach King and Coach Street are both great. Well, how many, well, how many, uh, how many Saints plays have you gone back and watched? Uh, a lot. Yeah. I actually, I, this summer, like after we broke OTAs, um, you know, I found on our iPad, you can go all the way back to like 2008, 2009. I, was, I, was, I watched the Super Bowl. I watched so many, so many plays. I, so many games I remember watching growing up. Sure. Like, sure. Uh, from a different perspective, it was cool to watch. So, yeah, and um, a lot of the things he still runs. So I'm looking forward to. You're around Russ. You're around Russell as, as much as anyone. What makes you think he can bounce back with all the attention that's on him this year to kind of you know have that season that's typical of his career? Just his mentality, uh, just knowing him. Uh, I don't know if he's ever had back-to-back 
bad years or uh, losing seasons in his career. So I know for a fact like he's going to bounce back. And like I said to someone earlier in the, in the week, you know, he's going to be you know, as good as we let him be up front. Like it's our job to protect him. Uh, we didn't do that well enough last year. We know um, that's the expect expectation for us to keep him clean and help him make plays this year.